September 22nd, first day of fall. Uh, still feels like summer out during the day, but it's cold and frosty at night. The bugs haven't realized, it hasn't been gotten cold enough to kill the bugs yet. But I wanted to say welcome to Modern Homestead, and I wanted to share a couple things with you uh, that I found um, that is really gonna revolutionize, I think, uh, some of the work here around the homestead. Uh, so I might get my man card revoked for this, and I know that. Uh, but I wanted to share this item with you because I think um, that it'll make your job and your work around the homestead easier. And uh, I, I don't care whether you just have a hobby farm, whether you're a full-time farmer, this is pretty useful. And I'll show you here in just a moment. And the reason that I purchased it, I'll explain it. Uh, but it is, now, no, don't take my man part away. It is a cordless electric chainsaw. see it's right at 12 inches of a tree right here so see what I cut five amp hour battery in this particular you can put any size you want in there but this is a five amp hour battery and uh, I'm gonna keep cutting so why did I buy this I bought this uh, to throw in the Jeep uh, I, I bought it so that uh, when I get on the trail, I can just quickly cut stuff. Um, it's very light, um, easily with one hand, uh, you can use it. Um, if you're not experienced and you don't have good arm strength, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Uh, but it's uh, also, I've got this battery system already. I used DeWalt uh, quite a bit, but I'm surprised uh, a after the original purchase of it, I was going through the store and people were like, oh, you're gonna love this, you're gonna love this. Two guys stopped me and said that. And I was like, huh. Am I really gonna love it that much? Uh, and I do, and, and I'm gonna show you why. So, um, like I said, battery system that I already have, and it's expandable to the 60 volt, 20 volt, that sort of flex system, uh, which is pretty cool. But my wife and my daughters uh, can easily use this. They usually don't have the arm strength to really uh, start up the gas chainsaw. And I was surprised at how long uh, this lasted. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna flip this around here just a little bit. If you look over here, my daughter cut all this stuff up while I was showing her how to, uh, how to use this. So um, I'm just gonna show you sort of what we got going on and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. All right, so the enemy of any piece of equipment really is heat. And so one of the things that chainsaws need is bar oil. So the bar oil goes here, and I ran out of bar oil uh, just as I was beginning to cut. And because of that, I can feel 
some heat. It's not super hot, but I can feel some heat there. So you want to keep it lubed. And I filled it up yesterday before I began to use it. And uh, it, uh, it went through it as I you know, did quite a bit of cutting there on the tree. And so this uh, 12 inch uses a standard uh, 12 inch chain. I'll talk more about that. You can see the battery doesn't take up too much space because it's actually made so that the 60 volt system can go in here too. And I'm gonna pick up one of those. This is just the regular 20 volt and it's part of the DeWalt Flex system. And this thing is just a, it's an awesome little saw. So uh, I just want to, uh, I wanna encourage you if you're looking for something around the homestead that's easy to use and you already have the battery system, hey, check this out. I could have bought the 16 inch, which, you know, that puts the bar out here. Um, and it came with the 60 volt battery system and uh, I've got the chargers and all that. And it's the flex system, 20 volt, 60 volt. You can do both of them, but, um, I already had this, you know, the, the regular batteries and everything. And, uh, I was tempted to buy the bigger one because I'd heard such good things about it, but then I had to remember my purpose. And this is a, a lesson for you. Always remember your purpose when you're going to buy a tool because this is gonna go into the Jeep when I'm out on the trails. So I wanted something that I could cut up and uh, you know, use without, uh, without too much effort. And you know, I can carry the charger with me and I've got a inverter that I can, I can charge these in the Jeep. And I've got you know, six of these batteries, different sizes, five hour, four hour, two hours, whatever. I've got different batteries, um, but cool little uh, chainsaw. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I thought it might be something that you might be uh, interested in, might help you around the homestead. So that said, I'm going to do what I always forget to do. And I'm going to say, uh, if you like the content, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, don't waste the time hitting the thumbs down. I mean, really, who does that anyways? Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll try to keep content coming. I'm just like you. Work a full-time job. Dad of four, you know. I've got a uh, pastor church on top of uh, working the full-time job. And I like to get out there and have some fun too. Uh, but work is important. So uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. We'll talk to you later. God bless you. For my wife and daughters, uh, they don't have to pull the... I hate this guy on this in this vehicle. It's a, it's a piece of junk vehicle. And he zooms over here, and I live out on the corner. Anyways, I'll get into that in just a minute.